Welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Glad you could join me here today. Welcome to my new subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed, do that now and smash that like button. Today's topic is going to be men versus women. Well, really not men versus women, but in respects to attraction. Men are attracted to physique, beauty. Women are attracted to inner strength and provisional um, capabilities in men. Vastly different things. A lot of women nowadays think, well, I have this degree, I'm making this money, I'm doing this, I'm attractive. No, that's what a woman is attracted to a man for, not what a man is attracted to a woman for. A man really doesn't care about all that stuff. He's really not interested in that. As long as she's not just laying around watching TV all day and eating chocolate, you know, if she is doing something with her life, it could be volunteering. As long as she is busy and active and she knows how to take care of him, that is the most important thing that a man looks for in a woman. Can she put him in the forefront of all she does? Is her relationship with him the most important thing to her? Kind of like Cora Wayne says, you know, if a woman really loves you, she will leave her family, her friends, her country, her job, her school, anything for you. Now that's the kind of desire you want from a woman. Now a man is attracted to physical beauty and also nurturing ability. A man wants a woman who wants to take care of him in whatever way he needs to be taken care of. That may be physically, emotionally, but he's not going to lean on her. A real man is not going to come home and cry on her shoulder. But he wants her to be the kind of woman that he could do that should he desire, although a high-value man will probably never do that. He may do it once, but if he does it twice, it's probably to his own detriment. You just cannot do that. Your woman is not your mother and you can't treat her like your mother. My suggestion would be, unless your mama dies, never cry in front of your woman. They all say they want you to show more of your feelings, to share more of your feelings, and they think they want that. But if you do that, 99 times out of 100, it will turn them off and they won't even know why. Because it's weak. Now, I'm not saying it's weak for you to cry. There's a time and place for that. I cry, but as I said, there's a time and a place for everything. Women are not attracted to men who cry. I know a lot of people are probably going to uh, disagree with me on that, but I'm telling you from my own experience and from what I've seen in other relationships, and I've seen a lot and read a lot and studied a lot, uh, it just doesn't work. Now, women think they want that, but they don't feel safe with a man who cannot control his emotions. And as I said, if, you, if your mom dies or something, I can see you shedding a tear. But better you shed that tear with your friends or by yourself. Um, there's a program uh, on, uh, what is it, uh, uh, Amazon Prime called Ray Donovan. That's a good example of a man acting the way women like. I don't watch much TV. Occasionally I watch a series. But what I'm taking from this is the character, Ray Donovan, the way he is around women. He doesn't say much. He doesn't share his feelings with them. And the women just can't get enough of him. He's strong. He's got inner strength. He's an alcoholic in this case. <laughs> you don't want to be like that. But you need the inner strength of a man like that. He can pick and choose when and where he's going to show his emotions. He's always in control of his emotions. And he is just a character, but the character he portrays, you can get something from that if you're having struggles with women, if you're being weak around women. Find someone, it doesn't have to be him, find someone who is good with women and model him. You will find that most men that are good with women are not walking around with their emotions on their sleeve, so to speak. They're not sharing all their feelings with their girlfriend. It just does not work. I've tried it. It doesn't work. I did it the other way. That works well. A woman wants to know she can trust you. She's attracted to your strength. 
Now, women are attracted to physical, physical beauty, so to speak, in a man, but because if a man is strong, then that means he can protect her. Now, they're not so much attracted to the giant bodybuilders, but you need to be in good shape. You need to be able to protect your woman should that need ever arise. In today's society, it doesn't arise that much because we have the police. It's fairly safe, at least here in the USA. But if you get out of the country, in other countries, quite different. I've had to protect my woman several times in other countries. Not much here in the States, a couple times here in the States, using physical violence. You should be a dangerous man if you need to be. Now, a wise man does not fight unless he has to. But a wise man knows if he has to fight, he can do that. And that's what you need to be. To be the man that all women want to be with. And the man that all men want to be like. Women are attracted to that. I don't know about you, but I'm not attracted to a woman that fights in MMA. I mean, there may be some good looking women uh, or a big powerful woman weightlifter. That doesn't mean much to me. And most men aren't really attracted to that. Now, if they have a nice physique, like a bodybuilder woman, when she's not pumped up for a competition, I like the way they look because I like the hard bodies. Most men are attracted to that. Not very men are attracted to the really muscular uh, dominating physical appearance of a woman like the bodybuilders or the uh, the fighters. The fighters usually aren't so cut as the uh, the bodybuilders. But unless they're a, a submissive man, I'm sure submissive men are attracted to that. But usually a man, the man I'm talking about here, the man that I want to be more like is more of a uh, physical dominant, not domineering, but a leader in a relationship. And to be a leader, you have to be somewhat dominant. There's nothing wrong with being dominant. Okay, I have a family here. I am the leader of this family. I take care of my six kids. I have to be the leader. Okay, it's a small form of government. Now, there's no woman here, but if there was, she would need to submit to my leadership. Now, does she have to? No, she can leave. She doesn't have to be with me. Many women our men too may call that controlling but when you get into a relationship with a woman you need to have boundaries now she should have some too both of you should have boundaries okay and if she crosses those boundaries there needs to be repercussions whatever that may happen to be you may walk away from her you may withdraw your attention you may voice your opinion to her or state to her what she did that you didn't like and then let it go. You don't argue about it, you just state it. And then see if she corrects the behavior or not. And then if she doesn't, you have to decide what you want to do. If you want to stay in that relationship or you want to get out. Now, this sounds domineering and maybe even controlling, but women are attracted to that. They want a man with strong boundaries. A man who stands up for what he believes is right. Because if you can't stand up for yourself, how are you going to stand up for her? How are you going to stand up for your kids if you have them with her? She's evaluating all this on a subconscious level. Uh, most of these things, including what you do, when you look at a woman, you're not thinking, oh, let me see. She looks pretty fertile. I can have kids with her and she can bear good children. No, but in your reptilian brain, that's what's going on. And the same with her. She knows in today's society, logically with her conscious mind, that, you know, we have welfare, we have housing, we have all this stuff. A woman today does not need a man, consciously. But in her reptilian brain, her evolutionary programming, she's looking for a man that can provide and protect for her, okay? And if you're that man, then she's going to be attracted to you. But to be that man in today's society, you have to be able to provide financially. That's very important. If you raise your financial status up, your attractability goes up. Yes, of course, women are attracted to money because money equals provision. It doesn't mean they're gold diggers. Now, there are some women out there that are gold diggers. I'm not talking about that. I have a daughter, 14 years old. Of course, I would much rather her go out with the, the boy that's uh, 16 that comes from a good family and his mom and dad... Uh, 
are financially stable. They've been together for many years and maybe they're rich. Maybe they have a lot of money. I would much rather her go out with that man than the guy uh, that lives across the tracks and uh, he lives with his single mother. His dad's an alcoholic. She's on welfare. I mean, that's just the way it is because this boy from the rich family has probably been raised with better morals, better examples of relationships and parenthood. So who's going to be the better choice? I would hope my daughter would choose the rich boy, okay? If he was a man or a boy with inner strength, which he probably is because his father, unless he got his riches from criminal activity, which he probably didn't, okay? He has to have some character to handle this responsibility. Many people think that a person with money, a lot of people think, oh, well, they probably rip people off. That's not necessarily true. Usually it isn't true. I would much rather live in a rich neighborhood than a poor neighborhood. I've lived in both. Well, more poor than rich, but I've been in a lot of rich neighborhoods. My neighborhood used to be kind of rich, but it's gone downhill fast. But I love my house. That's why I stay here. But so women are attracted to inner strength, provisional uh, that you can provide for them. And men are more attracted to physical beauty and youth. Women like young men, uh, men like young women. And women are more attracted usually to older men who are more established and could provide better if the man has inner strength and good character. Okay, that's all we have for today. I hope this has been of value to you. Smash that like button and subscribe. And thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow.